Asian Young Leaders Training Program is a key program launched by All China Youth Federation with the aim of enhancing friendly relationship between China and Asian countries, promoting the friendship and mutual trust of the young generation. During three weeks program, the attendees, Indonesian, Malaysian, Singaporean, and Bruneian will learn basic Chinese language, study on Chinese history, culture, politics, economy, visit enterprise, governments, schools, communities, and rural areas in Guangxi and Beijing, and interest with Chinese youth. During the three weeks program in China, the student will have lectures on special topics, including survey of China, China's custom and traditions, China's foreign policy, China's reform and opening up policy, China's culture, China's prospect of China, Asian free trade area, China's rural areas, China's youth organization and youth work, well-known enterprise and agriculture and industrial products in Guangxi, the development of the internet in China, China's community development, China's youth love and marital status. The participants of the training program are expected to introduce their own country and their nationalities and custom, youth organization and activities, economic development, and etc. Tiananmen Square is sitting in the center of the city and on the intersection where the longitudinal and latitudinal axis of Beijing cross over each other. Tiananmen Square is the largest urban square in the world today with an area of up to 440 square meters which can accommodate 1 million people for holding a grand gathering. Tiananmen Square was originally a close square in the period of Ming and Qing after, after the revolutions of 1911, the square was open to the public. Since the founding of the new China, Tiananmen Square has been rebuilt and expanded several times. The Forbidden City, constructed in the fourth year of Yong's reign, 1406, during the Ming Dynasty, 1368-1644, and being finished 14 years later, was the imperial palace that the monarch of the Ming and Qing dynasties had used for handling state affairs and living. It is the largest and best preserved ancient place complex in the world. In 1987, the UNESCO list it into the World Heritage List. Inside the Forbidden City, there are magnificent palaces, broad square, fine decorations, quiet and ancient gardens, as well as numerous cultural relics. The layout is divided into the outer court and inner court and the main buildings in seat in the turn the central axis passing through from the south to north. The Great Wall is a symbol of the dauntlessly indomitably spirit of the Chinese nation and a crystallization of the wisdom of the Chinese people in ancient times. During the age of cult weapons, it was a comprehensive defense work, and in modern times, it is a tourist attraction that draws a constant stream of adventurous explorers and those who cherish the past. The Great Wall extends 5,000 kilometers from east to west in North China, like a gigantic dragon wriggling its way across desert, grassland, and mountains to either heads of state or ordinary people 
from every part of the world. It being a wonder in the history of world architecture. Many of its sections and passes have been designed by the Chinese government as key national cultural sites. In 1987, the Great Wall was inscribed in the list of the World Cultural Heritage by the UNESCO. It took more than 2,000 years for the Great Wall to be completed, beginning from the 7th century BC, that is during the spring and autumn and wearing states periods when the dukes Chu, Qi, Wei, Han, Yan, Qin, Zhou construct walls around their territories for self-defense.